Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, um, recently I watched a film called Robocop. Obviously Robocop is a remake from uh, the 1980s version of the films with the same name. Uh, this one has been brought up to date. It is a 2014 version. Uh, the film stars Samuel L. Jackson as we see in uh, the opening credits of the film. It's also got Joel Kinnaman as Alex Murphy slash Robocop. Uh, you got Gary Oldman as Dr. Dennett Norton and Michael Keaton as Raymond Sellers. Apart from Samuel L. Jackson, there is no one recognisable or famous or anybody who stands out. Now, I have mentioned that Robocop is a remake of uh, the films from the 1980s with the same name. Not going to lie, but I was a bit reluctant to watch Robocop simply because I like the originals, I like the um, concept of them, everything that the original stood for I was a fan of I liked them uh, so for them to remake a film that didn't need to be remade um, did annoy me it did slightly put me off but I thought I'd watch it give it a go um, be a bit more open-minded to it and in all honesty it was okay uh, it starts out with a guy called Pat Novak who is played by Samuel L. Jackson and he, he kind of does the news. He introduces us to what's going on in uh, the broadcasting world and he demonstrates from his little news room um, what is going on using these Omnicorp soldiers in a potential war zone. Which is pretty clever really, you know, getting the soldiers out there and broadcasting it onto the news to... Um, demonstrate what goodness they could do in America. Pretty good. There is the twist at the start where a kid with a knife who is a threat is killed and um, it's it shows that a kid's been killed however he did have a knife he did intentionally go down with a knife and a weapon to do some damage but it was against metal cops and they did what they were programmed to do which is a massive debate in the film as to why these robots should not be used in America. If they kill a kid, is it wrong? We then follow um, the character of Alex Murphy who will futurely be played uh, as Robocop. Alex Murphy seems to be a cop who's a bit on edge, he's a bit tetchy, he's a bit of the sort of character that gets, gets annoyed easily. He's on a undercover mission with his partner and uh, shit goes down, um, they are tipped off by who we don't quite know until later on in the film. Um, his partner gets shot and um, is taken to hospital. So he's kind of wrote out the film pretty quick. I mean he survives, but we see him for five minutes and he's gone. Gary Oldman's character, Dennett Norton, is uh, the producer. He is the scientist who is able to create uh, robots, the robots for Omnicorp, who can patrol the streets. Michael Keaton plays Raymond Sellers. He is practically the owner of Omnicorp. He is the guy who pulls all the strings. And he is the guy who wants to have a man in a machine. Because the American public do not want full robots to be protecting them because they have no feelings. If they were to shoot a child, they wouldn't care. Well, my thought of it was, if a child had a gun or a knife and the robot thought this child is a threat, then why would you not kill it? Maybe I could be wrong, I don't know. But my view is, if there's someone with a knife, a gun, whether it be a child or a pensioner, they are a threat. But that's my own point of view. Um, in the film they don't like this. They don't like how um, children could be killed. So therefore they want a human in a robot to have feelings. Random, but hey. That's pretty much the gist of the film. There is a major twist that I didn't see coming. It was slightly welcomed. It was interesting to see. It was also interesting to see how Robocop dealt with the twist that happened in uh, in the film. After watching the film and being a bit sceptical about it, I don't regret watching it. I think they have opened it up for a sequel. Um, there's nothing on the books to say that they will or won't. Joel Kinnaman, I've never seen him in anything before, he is Norwegian, uh, he's probably well known over there, I don't know, um, I wasn't really convinced about him because one line in the film 
did quote that he wants someone who's stable and capable to uh, be the man in the robot. However, the guy seemed tetchy and on edge and um, not stable enough in my eyes to be a stable killing robot machine man. Samuel L. Jackson at the end of the film, um, not to give it away, but uh, was a bit funny. It was a typical Samuel L. Jackson moment. Uh, so that was that was like the only laugh moment in the film. I think as well um, they portrayed Alex Murphy as a guy struggling with the fact that he wanted to be a policeman, but then something happened to him. His wife took the decision to turn him into a super cop and then he bitched and moaned about it. I think they should have either had him as a family Robocop who loved his family and you know was was there for him or they should have had him as a badass cop and not have him involved in a family. Have him as a bachelor almost, um, a guy with no ties or commitments. I think it was bad almost that they had the family aspect tied into the film. But uh, if you're a fan of Joel Kinnaman, um, Gary Oldman, Michael Keaton, uh, if you're a fan of them, if you want to see the new latest version of Robocop, uh, if you've never seen the old ones, if you didn't like the old ones then you might like this film. Uh, there is explosions, gunfights, you know there is a big twist in the film, uh, I didn't see that coming which kind of surprised me. It was alright, it was bearable, it wasn't the greatest film I, I've ever seen, but it was alright to watch, you know it was okay. and. I was a fan of the original films. You know, Robocop 2014, it was bearable, it was alright to watch. I would recommend it, but then if you're a massive fan of the originals, then uh, I'd say leave this one, have the memories of the good Robocop films back in the day, have them as uh, your babies, as your fondest memories of Robocop. Well guys, thanks for watching my review of Robocop 2014, hope you enjoy it, thanks for watching. Also, you want to save some money, use TobyWTD on any items of We The Voted with the links down below. Well guys, thanks for watching my pretty quick review of uh, Robocop 2014, hope you enjoy it, thanks for watching. Samuel L. Jackson at the Better end. Better them than me. Fuck off.